no, you need to put your camera I'm down. I'm in a public space and you are violating Well, mine. you are violating my space, but no, you, you approached me. me. I'm here in public. You approached me. Because yeah. I'll highlight that. I got you. Okay? I hear what you're saying, but... But see, what you do is you cannot... Say, but so you're basically enforcing their feelings. If they don't want you... No, no, no. Yeah. That's their feel. No, it's not. It's a public... He's doing the performance of his duties. He doesn't have to stop and answer your questions. Especially you when you're not stop. even involved in this. I didn't ask you that. What's that? I didn't ask you if you had to stop. I asked you. So I can continue with my night. Okay. Bye. Okay. Deuces. Y'all are dismissed. You're dismissed. You can, uh, grab dismissed. Me, but if you're going to use this business, you're going to use business. I'm, I'm going to dismiss. Dismiss. I don't even want to hear this. Go on. Hello everyone, today we're going to delve into an interesting topic, the right to film in public. In a democratic society, the law not only protects our rights, but also requires us to understand those rights clearly. But how many people truly know about them? To find the answer, we will explore the surprising situations below, where courageous individuals stand up despite opposition from law enforcement representatives. Their actions not only challenge authority, but also open up important dialogues about freedom of speech. This isn't just their story, it's a valuable lesson for all of us about the responsibility to protect our individual and community rights. Stay tuned to discover how you can advocate for your own rights. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the exciting videos coming up. Let's explore the first situation where citizens' right to film in public is severely threatened by police misconduct. Issue with you recording checkpoints, that type of stuff like that. Oh, you really shouldn't. You know, no, we really should because it's, it's for the safety not only for our citizens have the right to record what they see in public even in front of military facilities however the police in this case are trying to deny that right by questioning and obstructing the act of filming they not only violate the fundamental rights of citizens under the first amendment but also challenge the values of free speech this action is outrageous and raises a significant question who is really protected in this society A statue one of the original Minutemen? I don't know. That's pretty cool. I don't know. You don't want to answer questions? I answer any question I you want. I see her, right? I just, I just, oh, no, I, I don't yeah. identify her. Yeah. Yep, yep. This is a government facility. Oh, well, yeah. An American government facility. Right, right. Do you have a purpose? For okay. I will be formulating a story. I don't know if it's okay. going to be a worthwhile story or not. How you doing, Sergeant? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know ranks with the... Uh... So what's going on? Huh? Okay. This is a military installation, you can't yeah. do that. Oh, I can't do it from on post, or on... Security. Pardon? You're taking the pictures of our security. Oh, that's that's okay. Well, uh, flower bed. Do you have another pair of glasses other than the ones that are recording right now? No, just the ones that are recording right now. You're infantry. No, you're MP. I bet you used to be infantry. How you doing, sir? How can we help you? Okay. I don't need any help. Okay, so okay. if you see the sign right over there, it says warning restricted area. There's a sign yeah. right there that says protect. Past that point. Past that point now. I you promise. Can't, you can't take pictures at this point. Oh. It's stating right there. On yes, the you can. No, okay, I guess Carl doesn't get involved. No, uh, this is public. Sure. Uh, th this public ground is by the United States Constitution. Uh, the First Amendment uh, for this kind of thing has been ruled many times by the Supreme Court. You can take the pictures from public. So, can I ask you what you're is to take pictures of our main gate. Personal use, matters of public interest. Okay. How you doing, sir? Hey, what can we help you with? <laughs> Bacon double cheeseburger? Do you so, have a defect in there? Are, are you re recording? Or? Yeah, I am. Re right now, this isn't recording. This is and this is. And you're recording military installations? Or just this installation? I'm Right now, I just don't want to. I understand. I can understand. only record what I see from this public ground, including this National Guard Readiness Center. Oh, it's just personal use right now. It might develop into a story. I don't know. Okay. You recording checkpoints, that type of stuff like oh, that. Oh, you really shouldn't. You know, no, we really should. Because not only for our service members, but all Oh, our the devices I'm using, this body cam, these goggles cam, and this, uh, they don't transmit anything. They don't project uh, bullets or lasers. or I, I, It's I, just receiving. No, no one's at any kind of risk. ID? You can refer to me as a good citizen. I, I don't want to show you my ID. If I come on base, I'll show my ID to get on base. But I... All right, you contact Owens County? We contact Owens County. He's on public property. Yes. Uh, as long as he's out here on the sidewalks, yeah, not exactly. on our government property, uh, just, just let him go. Uh, Made contact if they come out here and 
uh, look at something different. They so something tells me you knew that before you came out. I did. I mean, this, this Why is Why do you got to try? <laughs> this is not the first time. To request ID or verify identity, police must have reasonable suspicion or clear evidence of a crime. When a citizen is merely standing on the sidewalk filming what they see, there is clearly no wrongdoing. Yet the police demand that they stop filming and show their ID. This action not only reflects an abuse of power, but also seriously violates the basic rights of citizens. No. Doesn't look like I'm going to get a baked double cheeseburger today. Cool. Sir, can I help you? No, he already offered. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting a bacon double cheeseburger today. All right. At least now you can man his post. There's plenty of people to watch the scary camper guy and man the posts. You're not off the ride with all right? That's about three feet. Hey, six feet. And you're gonna maintain it, okay? That's put about six feet. Down, you need to back off. No, you need to put your camera I'm down. I'm in a public you space. In my space, but no, you, you approached me. me. I'm here in public. You approached me. Don't point back your finger at out. me because, hey, look, you you don't come up here and tell me to do that and you film me. I'm in public space. I have but a right sidewalk there. is public space. Right. You approached me while sitting there on public you space. You sit. In the end, no apologies are offered. The police, after failing to strip away the citizens' rights and make baseless accusations, hurriedly leave as if nothing had happened. This behavior not only reflects their irresponsibility in their duties, but also serves as a clear testament to their disregard for the rights and freedoms of the people. I can report anything I want. I can express myself any way I want. I'm paraphrasing. I like it here. I like the sidewalk. It's a nice sidewalk. There you go. You're moving in the right direction. Doing good. Counting. One, two, three, four, five, six people for a camera. On and tell the individual that don't want to listen. Which one of the six people is that? That's you. Just because I disagree does not mean uh, I'm not listening. That's quite an ego. Oh. I was saying before about First Amendment auditors, schools of thought, wait for the police to come, wait for the funders to leave. I'm going to play a little different. I'm going to see if they try to follow me. I will, uh... Through this situation, we see that the abuse of power by law enforcement and the lack of respect for citizens' personal freedoms are unacceptable. This underscores the importance of protecting fundamental rights, such as the right to film in public in a democratic society. Today is a beautiful day in Florida, so let's follow the auditor to the Hernando County Health Department to see if this audit goes well. Recording. Right, stop talking to me then. Stop recording me then. I'm not going to. I'm in public. You're in private, but I can record you. So we don't give you consent for that. The situation begins when an auditor enters the Hernando County Health Department exercising the right to film in public under the First Amendment. However, he soon encounters opposition from health staff who show clear discomfort and attempt to prevent the filming. In this scenario, the rights to free speech and public recording of citizens are being violated by those responsible for protecting public health. <laughs> Get 
Excuse me, I don't give your consent to show my face. Okay. So stop recording. All right, stop talking to me then. I'm in public. You're in private, but I can record you. So we don't give you consent for that. Let her let her know. We don't give her consent. What's your name so I can that way I know? My name is Caitlin Johnson. Yeah, okay. I give I don't give consent okay. to have me on that video. All right. you, you'll hit the Thank you. We'll get the sure, hit it. I'd love for her to talk to him. They're right next door. I just talked to him. That way, uh, that way you guys can get educated. No, because of a camera. Because of an iPhone 14. <laughs> and that, so now we have to stick around longer because... <laughs> waste more resources. That's smart. Waste taxpayers' money. <laughs> Great. I guess I'll get comfortable then. assumes that the police understand the law and act according to legal regulations, but that's not the case. Faced with the violation of citizens' rights and the reality that privacy should not exist in public spaces, the police irrationally accuse the citizen of trespassing. Meanwhile, those being accused are merely exercising their fundamental rights. Such behavior raises the question, are the police protecting the law or are they exploiting it to oppress the people? Hey, you said you went to press? I am. Credential? Yeah, right here. Press badge. Do you have a name? Am I, huh? am I legally required to provide it or? Were you with any company or is it because that looks like it was drawn on there? That, that, it's a, yeah, yeah. Bonafide unit. Yeah. Uh, well, well, the, the uh, health department wants you trespassing the property. So I'm going to need your ID. For what? The health department wants you trespassing the property. So you're trespassing me? Yes, I am. For what? What what, that, what crime did I trespass from a public building now? Think about what yes, you're doing. Yes, yes, from A, a public, public building? Yes. yes. Okay. Call and say that you were walking around in. I was. Okay. And now you guys are trespassing me yes, because, no, and, and what's the reason? They want you trespassing their building. And what's, but that's a reason to trespass oh, me. Pro, you guys are confusing public and private. Yes, you are. I'm just telling you, when the lawsuit happens, you'll be, can I get your name, sir? Do you, do you have ID on you or? Do, am I legally required to have it? Well, are you going to leave the property? Are you leaving the premises? Are you going to arrest me if I don't? Leave. Well, the part of trespassing. Uh, can, I, can I get your name, please? I, I give you my name. Sir. Are you the same one that's over there? Sergeant Johnson, okay. Okay, okay that's fine. Stay back over there. Uh, it's a free country. Well, am no, I being sorry, detained? For, no, you're not. Okay, that's fine. Then if I bring you to stay, I can, I'm, if I'm free to leave, I can free to stay. Grave mistake. Remember, uh, you might want to call your county attorney before you do this. Go, or anywhere the public can go, the press can go. So, you might want to call your city, your okay, county attorney. You okay. My car. I, I'm, I'm. Oh, you see that? She likes, she likes to use the officer safety thing. That's what they always do. It's like the catchphrase that they do. I'll stand over here so I don't get shot. Remember, your taser's on. It's the yellow one. Good. Yeah, you tell it. You, you usually. Sheriff's Department. Despicable. They're going to try to trespass free press. They don't rifle it. So these are the kind of tyrants that we like to uh, to display on our channel. We miles about it. He swore an oath, but all they are is road pirates. That's what they do. So take a good look. We bad. Make sure you call your county attorney because you'll end up getting into a lawsuit that you. You think this is my first time at a health department? And you have a body phone though. I'm sure the phone's recording. Don't delete it because I will definitely uh, be fully requesting it. Well, can I get your name and uh, badge number, please? Oh, what, oh, one strike? Yeah. What yeah. is it then? A patrolman? Yeah. Deputy? Yeah, okay. Right. Laddie, what's your badge or ID number? So, yeah, we have ID numbers. 1626. 1626. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. A little more, a lot more perfect. 
No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to get the phone call, so I'm recording. So, yeah. Since you guys, since you guys. They're on a traffic stop. Okay. Well, they're. It just makes us uncomfortable. It's that magic comfort well. You can see I have no weapons on me. I got you. I just want to let people <laughs> I've got. It's a camera, darling. Perfect. Okay. I just got the fort. And and, and they're actually about to trespass me from uh, from a public location. Can I get your name and badge number? Eleven, eleven. Okay. You might want to educate your other sergeant here because this is a public place. I have not look, look, look up Price versus Garland. It says anywhere the public can go, the press can go. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Uh, well, that's 100. percent the, It's their business, wrong. and they don't want you here. Why do you guys always conflict? They, they, they can't differentiate between public and private. Uh, you know, you kind of officers. I highlight the good, and I, you'll see it. I, you'll see yourself. Yeah. And I'm I'm praying that you guys do the right thing. See, well, what you do is you cannot. Say, but so you're basically enforcing their feelings. If they don't want you. Here, no, no, no. Yeah, that's yeah. their feeling. No, right. I but have every employee. right. To just like you have every right to go in there. What if an employee is upset with no. you for being there? No, nope. that's wrong. But just remember, like I told him, when I when I sue you guys in your department, I will name you. Okay. And when you do a civil rights violation, mm -hmm. you don't get qualified immunity. I got you. Okay. So just let just let you know. Yeah. I truly admire the citizens' composure in this tense situation. Even when confronted with law enforcement officers who are ignorant of the law, the auditor remains unfazed. Instead, they patiently and firmly assert their freedoms, refusing to let anyone infringe upon them. This steadfastness turns the confrontation into a clear testament to the strength and importance of citizens' rights. You know freedom of press, right? I'm assuming you know freedom of press, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of... Very simple. You know what the Third Amendment is. You swore an oath to it. It's about housing. So what CTI, CIT stand for? Crisis Intervention Training. And what's ETD? Is that what it is? T-O. Okay. Yeah. And SWAT. SWAT. Since 2016. 16, that's right. Mm-hmm. You can't trespass people from uh, from public. Wow. wow. I guess I'm dangerous with a camera, huh? No, it's just COVID. Oh, oh, there we go. That's the elusive COVID to sit there and give you justification to violate your rights. That's what they do. They've been doing it. We want to restrict you from government buildings. We want to restrict the people, restrict your services. And we have a reason. It's COVID. I can stand wherever I want. It's a public parking lot. I can literally stand in, as long as I don't touch you, and it's, it's completely legal. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Comfort thing. Okay. They're going to trespass me. They're going to violate rights. episode of feelings enforcement and I've actually had a lot of positive interact and you'll know you'll see you'll see my videos you'll see that I've had a lot of extreme law enforcement and I tell everybody I'm pro law enforcement I'm just not I'm anti bad policing I'm not refusing to leave. If you trespass, man, I don't want to get arrested. No. But I'm. But I don't want my I don't want my violate my civil rights violated. And we don't want to make arrests. Under threat of arrest, I'll leave. But only under threat of arrest, I'll leave. So if you tell me I will arrest you if you don't leave, I'll be happy to leave. all to have Of course, I'm here to have a conversation. So, Sergeant, are you going to violate my approach here? Or am I going to get arrested? You can stay right there. Okay. Sure. Uh, you mind flipping over? No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, it'll, 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 it'll blow over in the wind. I'm okay. sure. All right. yeah. Talk to you. So right. if you violate my rights, I will not, unless I'm under threat of arrest. Right. But if you, uh, if you, if you uphold your oath, hold my oath. Hold you. well, it's First Amendment freedom of press. Okay. okay. And that's all I want you to do is I just want you to uphold. Get some calls or someone walking around and up there. So we got to peacefully recording. I didn't say a word yeah, to anybody, darling. We have to do our investigation and get what we doing. So. We gotta talk to all all sides, and then we'll come and get your side of what happened. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you think a camera is deadly? I mean, it's not a trick question. I'm asking. 
this. Right. It's not gonna hurt you, right? I mean, other than if I threw it at you, obviously. But if it's not gonna hurt you, just me pointing a camera I don't, at you, I don't right? Know what, why you're asking those questions? Well, they're they're calling the police. No, the the, the circumstances behind of the occurrence. Yes. What's the circumstances? What did I do to what? Walking around badge. I'm telling you, I'm press. Well, it's official. I mean, who, who well, issues, I have, provide. but don't okay. you believe in the Fourth Amendment? You said oh, you uphold, absolutely. okay, That's Fourth Amendment saying. says that I, I don't have to. We'll cooperate in my rights. Why would I want to be cordial with you about right. that? Yes, you did. You just said that you were going to trespass me from the, from the property. I said it was a trespass. Okay. I didn't say you were a trespass. I didn't say you were. I'm saying, but you're, you're about to, you're trying to violate my rights. I didn't. Okay. I hope you don't. I pray to God that giving you the opportunity. To shine. I, my channel and you see yourself I follow my and you see and okay. I know I shine. So. Okay. And you swore it before God. Well, I gotta follow the law and the rights and Right. But just through the Constitution. Like I was telling the sheriff's department is supposed to uphold you work for the people directly. The sheriff works and he's elected well, we official. Work, we work for the state. We protect the people. That's right. We the law for the people, but but no, but the law could be unconstitutional. So you have to follow gotta, the Constitution. We follow, we the Constitution. Follow the the Constitution. Right. So their feelings. I, I'm just hoping you don't enforce their feelings. That's all. Just, it's just silly to me. I only enforce facts. And, and to be honest, all left, I'd probably be here for five more minutes, and I'd probably be gone. I'd probably make one more round. Oh God, we got a call. We got investigators. Just to me, it just seems like a waste of resources. We've got four deputies here, sergeants, deputies, well, whatever. You probably would have been out soon. If you Not right up to you to meet you, because I knew I wasn't doing anything you wrong. Give your name. You you were resistant with all that. You know, we walked up. I actually. Yeah. But do I have resistant. to though? First words out of your mouth. You said, like he actually ha held his book out and said, I'm gonna here. I'm gonna do it. Through this incident, we see the significance of protecting citizens' rights and understanding the law. The calmness and resilience of the citizen demonstrate that courage can bring about positive change, even in the face of uninformed law enforcement. The police show discomfort when citizens film them while on duty. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, feel free to, to uh, film, that's I mean, fine. It just doesn't it's make still, any sense. I don't want you getting close enough to cause potential harm to my people, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. You're right, because like we talked about before, I don't... The video begins as a citizen witnesses and records a traffic stop on Hollister Avenue, Pismo Beach, California, where the police are checking a person's sobriety and handcuffing them. This action is entirely legal under the First Amendment, which allows filming in public spaces, even when the police are performing their duties. If the police intervene or obstruct, they may be infringing upon the constitutional rights of the citizen. Hey guys, 805 Cop Watch here. We're right here on uh, Hollister Street in uh, Pismo Beach, California. I don't know, something going on down here. So it looks like they have this guy out here for something. I don't know if he's refusing to do uh, the rest of the test or whatnot, but uh, they just place custody. Yeah, because you're a licensed resident in California, okay? You get arrested for DUI like you just have right now. Yeah, so you can get arrested for DUI like you just have right now. Okay? Which one do you want to do tonight? Uh, I can't make this decision for you. That's up to you. Why are there five police officers for a traffic stop? Could this be a sign of manpower waste? It's even more concerning when one of them deliberately accuses the citizen of obstruction, despite the fact that this individual is simply exercising their rights. The large presence and unusual actions indicate that something is amiss in how the situation is being handled. Looks like uh, they got two other officers here. They got four police officers here now for one, this one stop here. So 
maybe the sergeant radioed in to have uh, these two other police officers come and assist her, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe so she can take off. Maybe she needs to head out and go supervise something else. Question her out or another call or something. I don't know. Can I get your name? Sure. Sergeant Trimble. Badge number? P is in Paul 068. Hey, you Thank you. Uh, Please stay back here so we don't, I don't want to go into the vehicle. I already parked the front door. Right here, you sit behind you the pillar. You want to go after? Yeah. Sergeant, why would you sit behind the pillar or do you stay right here? I asked to go way by the pillar, yeah. Well, I said that's fine. Yeah, yeah just go there and handle your business, man. Stop messing with us. I'm, I'm watching the vehicle. Yeah, well, we're watching you. Imposter. What's that? So you can, you can be an imposter. How do I know who you are? Sir, if you're gonna instruct our investigation, I'm gonna have to ask. You I'm not instructing. I know the law. This is a 148. What? What I'm doing right now. I'm recording you where you're in the performance of your public official duties. Perfect. Perfect. But I don't want you. I don't. Getting close to my. Uh, I don't care. I don't care about your feelings. I don't care about your feelings. Why are you moving closer to the vehicle? Why are you moving closer to the vehicle? Like what am I doing wrong? I asked you to step Nothing. up. I'm not I'm not expecting Okay. Yeah, he's taking over the team now, so if he wants to step a little bit further away, then that's on him. He's a sergeant as well. Okay. I'm safe. How close you guys are, you're more than welcome to film. We can answer any questions maybe when we're done. But yeah. until then, we'd appreciate it if you back up a little bit, okay? Yeah. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. We got four officers on this one call here. They already have uh, one person in cuffs. Looks like they did the breathalyzer on them. Yeah, so there's here two sergeants and three regular uh, Grover Beach PD. Five officers for one call. It's a lot of uh, resources here. Man. As law enforcement officers, the actions of the officer in this situation are not only disappointing, but also a serious violation of citizens' rights under the Fourth Amendment. Requesting names and verifying identity without reasonable suspicion constitutes an invasion of the right to personal protection against unreasonable searches and seizures. This abuse not only contradicts the spirit of the law, but also reflects a lack of respect for personal freedoms. Yeah. She was cool. Sergeant Weimer over there was, was fine with it. I was just letting you know, before you got here, it was them two, and they were perfectly fine with me being where I was. Yeah, I've been doing this a long time, so not where I'm going to be. reasonable, right? I guess. So they're waiting for a tow truck. That's what they just called for right now, the tow truck. So when you go to Walmart shopping, you go to a gas station, you tell people to stand back because you're scared. You know? So why would you do it to us on a public sidewalk? Because it's in the performance of my duties. I don't know. Yeah. You can, you can it just doesn't make any sense. Okay. Well, feel free to, to uh, film. That's I mean, fine. It just doesn't just make any sense. I don't want you getting close enough to cause, because like we talked about before, I don't know you. Yeah. What's your name? Good citizen. See, I don't know you still. You Good citizen. You don't need to know my name. I don't know if you're on parole. I don't know if you're armed. I don't know what's going on. You don't need to know my name. 
Unless I'm suspected of committing a crime, I don't. Your I'm just letting you know. I'm just asking. I'm telling you that I don't know you. I told I you asked, I'm good citizen. I asked your name. I told you I'm good citizen. Okay. You don't need to be confrontational. I'm not being confrontational. I, I just took off my mask because it's getting hard to breathe and talk. To so I'm all about transparency. Awesome. I don't have anything to hide. We are too. So. I don't either. So. <laughs> So every single uh, police unit here is on, wasting gas. This one's leaking something on the ground here, wasting all that gas. They can save gas probably. They shut a couple of these off, keep a couple on, keep the cab report going so they don't have to restart the computer. But uh, they just got any drugs on you? What's that? Do you have any drugs on you? No, I don't. Are you under the influence of any? Any control substances at all? Have any shots today? But I'm done answering yours. That's Still good. That, that's a Still good questions. answer. <laughs> well, that's how the public feels when you are. <laughs> that's your So those other two uh, police units took off. Still got a sergeant here and uh Excuse me, sir. He didn't stop and answer your questions. Especially when you're not stopped. even involved in this incident. I didn't ask you that. What's that? I didn't ask you if you had to stop, I asked identify. Yeah, needs to. When a civilian asks you what's your name, it's duties, you yeah. have to stop and, and use whatever yeah. questions that you might have when you're not even involved in this incident. You're just standing by and filming. Right? Yeah. Right, but he's not going to stop doing what he's doing to yeah. waste our time yeah. to answer finished. your questions. That's why I waited until he what's that? He, he finished. Vehicle up. I'll go over here. I need to film the back of the car anyways. At least he has his hazard lights on. That way a car comes down there. You know, with the sun going down, it might get in somebody's eyes. So it's a good thing they have the lights on. His vehicle, that's my car. What's that? That's my car, not his. His vehicle. You guys don't own the vehicles. I said, can you roll up your windows and secure Ultimately, although no argument occurs, this does not excuse their failure to fulfill their duties. The police must remember that their role is to protect the law and citizens' rights, not to infringe upon them. Their actions must always adhere to principles and regulations, ensuring that all citizens are treated fairly and with respect. First Amendment right. And uh, enjoying the weather in the day. So we've been filming for about uh, 34 minutes and uh, 20, 30 seconds, 33 seconds. So yeah guys, we've been out here for about half an hour, a little over a half an hour. And uh, I hear there was just two uh, officers on scene, a sergeant, a female sergeant and another uh, officer. And then uh, all of a sudden three other officers and uh, two other PD, Grover Beach PD. So now it's just this one here waiting, to secure the vehicle and uh, take off. So they did call uh, extra units to come in because we were filming. If you can get back and stuff. So I, I, I is aware of this. Yeah. I don't know why she was. Photography. And... Oh yeah. She didn't want to drive that. Oh, I know. So yeah guys, right here on uh, Hollister in uh, Pismo Beach, California, some cherries and berries down here. And it was a sergeant and uh, that PD, like I was saying, the other uh, PD officer. And then three more showed up because we were there filming and they needed to secure the the scene there. Sergeant was saying he was scared or something. 
I mean, man, if they're that a police officer, then, man, because that's kind of scary. Through this situation, the lesson is that citizens need to understand and defend their rights, especially when interacting with authorities. At the same time, police must respect citizens' rights, as trust from the community is essential for effective law enforcement. Mutual respect between both parties is key to a fair and democratic society. Citizens targeted by the police while trying to film them on duty. That's exactly what happened to the auditor in this case, as he witnessed a police traffic stop while preparing to wash his car. The police approached and demanded to check his ID under the pretext of loitering in the area. If police can easily check the ID of anyone, does the law still hold value? This question raises concerns about privacy and personal freedom in modern society. Sir, I have a lawful right to identify you. You're committing a crime, loitering. If you don't identify yourself by state law, that's resisting an officer. The police cite section 14,108, California Penal Code 148, regarding citizens obstructing a police officer by refusing to provide ID. But there is no indication of a crime in this situation. The baseless request for ID not only shows a lack of respect for citizens, but also violates the Fourth Amendment, which prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures without probable cause. This lack of caution not only infringes on personal rights, but also undermines community trust in law enforcement. And we have units 3084... One zero eight. Oh. Mm -hmm. so, mad dogging loves the mad dog I guess This one wants to wave and say hi. Look at this. Look at this right here. How you doing, buddy? Good. About yourself. So name uh, and badge numbers? Officer Chester, Walker Police Department. Look at him running the plate. Look at this. What you doing, Craven? What's up, buddy? You got a license registration issue, Swin? Four. Are your license actually where I can identify you? Four. Because you're loitering at this point. You're not going to wash my car. Okay, well, you've been here. I, I, I've been here. I've, I've been here for four your, minutes. I've been here for four minutes. I've, I've already been here. For, owner. Okay. Loitering. So I can't So I can't use my phone. My, I can't this hang up on the loitering. phone call. This is not loitering. Craven, really? You gonna really gonna go can this I have, far? Can I have your ID, please, sir? Can for I sitting here for three minutes I, before I wash my can, car? Can, can for I have, I for what ID crime? Sir? What crime do you suspect me of committing? I just said you were loitering. I've always it's not loitering. Yes, it is. It's no problem. We, I've got it all on camera. Can I okay. Have your ID, please. For what crime? I just said loitering. Loitering. This is not loitering, sir. Okay. Um, can I identify you, please, sir? I have a lawful right to identify you. You're committing a crime, loitering by state law. That's resisting an officer. Do you know that? I know 14-108, 14 it's not failure to ID if there's no yes. crime being committed, I, I've, crime. I've got quarters, I've, I had to finish, I, had to, I was trying to finish my cigarette no. before I washed my car. Can, can you, can you give me your ID please? Can All right, watch this people, ID? rights violations, fourth amendment rights violations sure, right absolutely. here. Show it yep. To this is a fourth amendment rights violation right here people, I was finishing my cigarette. Fisting a walk. He wants to come up and violate my Fourth Amendment rights right here. No, this is a, a Fourth Amendment right to my papers. First, there's no crime being. There's no. I don't give a shit what you got to say. There's no crime being committed here. I was fisting to wash my car. I was finishing my cigarette. I've been here. So you're about to look stupid in front of everybody. And what's your badge number? Uh, Walker thirty four. Thirty four. I already Craven knows who the hell I am. Look at this. Look at this. Let me show you all my quarters. They're all right here. I was. Finishing my cigarette, fisting to wash my car, and he just... 
So if you're not using this business, I'm using this business. So, at the, so, so we've been sitting over there for over. So we're, so we're judging this whole so, we're judging this whole entire stop over that, three and four fine. minutes. But we've been three or four minutes. Four, three or four minutes. Don't I don't. I don't. I, I'm it, it takes six uh, minutes to smoke my cigarette. It takes six minutes to smoke my cigarette. It is. And that's fine. Oh my god! Yeah, right, dude. So you're not using this business at all. Where are you for? They're right here. Right there in the passenger seat. Okay. Right there. See them all lined up across yeah. the seat right there? there okay. But okay, but I, I are you idiot. Okay. Idiot. Y'all y'all are fisting y'all are fisting y'all are fisting. Hey. Craven's fisting to get fired. Yeah, y'all yeah, okay. just lost y'all's qualified That's immunity. Fine. Yep. No Look, I'm gonna tell you this one time, okay? I don't have to listen to you. That's the thing. I'm washing my car. Now, did you run my down through this situation? We see that the police must adhere to the law and remain calm in all circumstances. Abuse of power not only violates personal rights, but also damages community trust in law enforcement agencies. Things. I am why I'm things. finishing my cigarette things. and just gonna wash my car. So that you till I finish my cigarette. It gives me a right to identify you because it does not. You're, you're, wrong. you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're right. Crazy. You're wrong. And what's crazy is the same camera system that you're talking about is the same camera system that's going to see you. I have every right so to you, follow y'all. I have exactly. every right to keep my government so I have accountable. Every right to identify you when you're committing no crime. I have, no crime. I have not right committed no crime. I have not committed a crime. You should. I should have let you take me to jail. Is what I should have did. I shouldn't have been to jail because I would have had your badge. You want to go? You want to go ahead and turn it in now? Take off the whole clown costume. Take off the whole clown costume. I am clean. I know I don't have nothing wrong with me. But you're out with somebody. But you're out with somebody. See, I know. I, but, and, and you're talking about 14108. Not given ID whenever it is lawfully reason. But it is not. It is. So Washington Dick Quarters out of their console and have a cigarette before they wash their car. They're not allowed to do that. But you've been sitting here. Go to get quarters out when I'm out of my car. Showing, showing that you're actually using the business. I have no problem with that. You don't have proof that I'm not using this business. Okay, I was over there sitting there. For three minutes, four minutes. You even said on camera that it was four. Go do y'all's job so I can continue with my night. Bye. Deuces. Y'all are dismissed. You're dismissed. Dismissed. I don't even want to hear this. Go on. Dismissed. Dismiss, 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 goodbye. Get y'all have a bad night because y'all This is what you call ignorance of the law. Fourth Amendment violation. I will have your badge, Craven. I will have it. Make sure you keep your mouth shut. You have the right to remain silent. You Thank you for watching today's video. Through the interesting situations we've explored, I hope you have a better understanding of the right to film and the importance of protecting your own rights in a democratic society. Remember, every voice and action can make a difference. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can explore more interesting topics together in the future. See you in the next video.